Hello, friends. Welcome to our holiday special tonight on Kobe Pro, and the show starts now. here from Rio in Gatesburg, Maryland. Tonight on Kobe Pro, I have many, many surprises for you guys. On our main event, the tag team titles are on the line, and also, Santa Claus will come and visit. But now, let's go to our opening contest, where Lazar Ortiz will be defending his television title. From San Juan, Puerto Rico, in Mexico, weighing in the 213 pounds. champion Lazaro Ortiz. There you go. And there's the bell, here we go. Lazaro Ortiz taking on the two-time Kobe Pro Television champion, John Boy Justice. Lazaro has been very impressive. He's been on fire since he got here at Kobe Pro. Two months ago, a dark match. Last month, he wins the title. This month, he's defending the title against John Boy. Yeah, and showing very little respect for uh, Love Bill Jacobs. He came by leaps and bounds here in Kobe Pro. Is he still wild or can we just call him Breath Bill Jacobs now? There's the car on him. John Boy forces him back in the other. Oh, too much power at this point. Well, the fans seem to be getting in. Right back in the car, no more. Front kick to the kick. And a big right hand. Series of right hands to the head of Lavar Ortiz. Yeah, that's good. Close line. That's exactly what we need in the news. More police brutality. So get guys. Here comes the scoop. You're right. This is exactly what John Boy needs to be doing. I didn't say it's what he needs to be doing. I said it's what we don't need in the news anymore. Well, this is what he needs to be doing. He's got a 10 minute time limit to play with. Lazaro doesn't have to win, he has to survive. Well, that he does against, unfortunately, two time television champion, the only two time television champion. Massive neck snap from Lazaro Ortiz on John Boy Justice. And that makes my escape tonight a little easier. Big right hand from the outside. Fighting on the outside of this, this plays to Lazaro Ortiz's advantage. And he just rammed Doughboy right into that apron. The only beneficial thing for John Boy is a pinfall or submission in the ring within the 10 minute time limit. Anything else, Lazaro walks away with the title. Is it just me or does Lazaro look especially violent tonight? He's shown a nasty attitude since day one. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's letting it throw tonight. Lazaro rolls John Boy back in the ring. John is down and out. Oh, this is... Oh, wow. 
Slingshot Center from the Zorro Ortiz, went to the small of the back. That's why he's our TV champion. I told you Bill couldn't count anymore after that many concussions. Lazaro was having a coaching. Another big boot to the shoulder at John Boy. Didn't he focus on that arm last month? He did indeed. He knows what he's doing. We're two minutes into this 10 minute time on it. And Lazaro Ortiz is just raining in the blows on John Boy Justice. Well. It all started with the rope thing. The woes continue in Christmas chaos for Doughboy. He would be back up with this hook in the leg. Only two. And that's because Charlie Brown pulled Bill Jacobs out. He grabbed his foot, I saw it. The Zorro keeps firing in those knee drops to the back of the head and to the neck. Good way to ring a bell. Our referee for the night, Joe Jacobs, caught him and gave him the count. They just met and they don't seem to like each other. I felt the same way the first time I met Bill. I was with him in Lazaro. But he eats something. Make it two. You see? Oh no. Oh, we know it's coming. Yeah, but do you really think he's going to be able to follow it up with him cradling that arm? He didn't get all that he wanted, but he got all that uppercut. And it seemed to have done some damage to him, too. That shoulder is really bothering John Boy. Well, Lazaro masterfully working on it. Didn't we talk about this last month, where if you can't... That full range of motion in that arm, it kind of makes Swift Justice a little harder to hit. It takes away, it takes away his big gun. You're right, Swift Justice. Well, and with the agility of Lazaro, you're not locking in that other arm. He's going to slide right out on you. Speaking of agility, you don't see John go up often. And there's a reason why. Because the ring won't hold it. When it pays off, it pays Five off this. So, five minutes to go in this 10-minute TV title match, and oh, what a vibrant. Nice swing on five bucks for Ortiz, but he failed to hook the leg. I didn't think he needed to, and neither did he. And you always need to hook the leg on a man as strong, as willful as John Boy Justice. Unless that man is out cold. You're not going to get a pin without looking that way. The intensity on the face of Lazaro. There's the reversal. Beautiful flying form for Lazaro Ortiz. Goes in for the cover. Fails to hook the leg. John Boy slips out the back door. He still almost had him. He's staying focused. We have about three minutes left in this match. And right back to work on that arm. Doing a number on that arm of Doughboy. Once again, no respect for Bill Jacobs. Look at the power of Ortiz. Setting John Boy up for something. He's going up with him. It looks like he's setting that man up for a superplex. Oh, I'm not sure. Did you see that impact? Big time super clutch from Lazaro Ortiz. Both men had to bounce the foot off that man. I think the ring moved. They probably registered that one on the Richter scale. And this plays in Lazaro's favor, no matter how much damage he did. But he came out home on the back of his own head. Lazaro Ortiz may have done himself more damage than he did John Boy. Possibly, and we talked about the insane amount of impact that that had. We're 
Waste Walker, John Boy. Crown for the roll up. Gonzalo's having a ton of it. No, he is not. Carter heading up. John Boy cuts him off. Heads up and moves up there, but Gonzalo kicks him off. There we go. Oh, you hope the lads that time, Chris. Twice, Donnie. Twice. He, re Twice. he retained his title and he won the title that same way. So how you how you hating on that? Feet on ropes. Illegal maneuver. Television champion. Seriously? Seriously, he's carrying the gold, isn't he? He may, he may have the gold, but just possession does not make you a champion. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the newest up and coming star of Cover Pro Wrestling. Your Saturday Night Delight, Brown Sugar Jones. I ain't always been the nicest guy, so I always depend on my friends, whether holds bonding, to have my back. Now they're located in Martinsburg, West Virginia, at 306 West Stephen Street. You can also give them a ring there on the phone, 304 267 5888. They offer affordable financing. Tell them Brown Sugar sent you. Again, you're watching Kobe Pro, and if you're just tuning in, you missed Lazaro Ortiz defending his title. But let's see how he went. Doing a number on that arm of Doughboy. Once again, no respect for Bill Jacobs. Look at the power of Ortiz. Setting John Boy up for something. He's going up with him. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, did you see that impact? Big time super clutch from Lazaro Ortiz. Both men had to bounce the foot off that man. I think the ring moved. They probably registered that one on the Richter scale. And this plays in Lazaro's favor, no matter how much damage he did, but he came out home on the back of his own head. Lazaro Ortiz may have done himself more damage than he did John Boy. Possibly. And we talked about the insane amount of impact that that had. Rear waist walk for John Boy. Crown for the roll up. Lazaro's having a ton of it. No, he is not. Car heading up. John Boy cuts him off. There we go. Oh, you hope the lads that time, Chris. Twice, Donnie. Twice. He, re he retained his title and he won the title that same way. So how you how you hating on that? Right now. Let's hear from our champion. Otro mes ha pasado y nada ha cambiado. Todavía el campeón, Lázaro Ortiz. Yo quiero que ustedes acuérdense algo. Que lo que vieron esta noche, solo empezando lo que yo voy a hacer aquí en Kobe Pro. Porque cada vez que me meto ahí, Lázaro gana. Cada vez que me meto ahí, Lázaro sale, el campeón. Right now, this year from John Boy Justice. Covey Pro, let me tell you right now, I stand for one thing and one thing, and that's law, order, and justice for every man, woman, and child. And tonight, 
Justice was not served. Justice was cheated, but I'm telling you what, justice will prevail because I'm going to continue to work my way to the top of this company like I have been, and I'm not going to stop. Law, order, and justice for every man, woman, and child. Last week, we heard from our woman's champion, Nyla Rose. Let's hear what she said on her Kobe Pro Rewind. You know, in the Arabian Assassin, some people might be wondering where the masked man came from, but I have it on good faith and from my friend Mustafa, who called me just a couple nights ago. This man is one of Mustafa's prodigies. He follows the great Mustafa Aziz Daniels, and Mustafa could not be here tonight. Therefore, he sent one of his men That's it. Elevated Uragani, hooks the leg. Holy king. And every time, it's meant pain and suffering for his victim. He's got him up. Schoolboy! Oh, come on. Perhaps a bit of a fast count in my opinion, but... I mean, I can't say Gavin didn't look good, but the assassin had him where he wanted him. Damn good to be a women's champion again. Man, that was a heck of a ride. So, when I got here tonight, I found out that Emma Rodriguez couldn't be here. in full effect now. But caught by CEO. Over the knee backbreaker and just slammed him down to the ground. I think he's trying to kiss the ref. CEO's using the words for leverage. No. Shay's trying to kiss the ref or something. 
Come on, ref! Well, I wouldn't count either. I wouldn't be checking on him. Okay, doing the... Oh, wait a minute. I think we know what's coming, Donnie. Well, I think he's got a handful of hair. Drop salt, we know what's coming. Well, I'm not sure what CEO planned for tonight, but I'm relatively positive it didn't involve Shay there. And this, this is it. You lost him! Come on, oh, come on. What's the land? Oh, really? Come on. Just when it looks like CEO had him said to cash out. Well, I said it before, he oils up. He's like, you know, an oil spill. If, if we were to dump Shay in any ocean right now, the fines we would have to pay for pollution would be immeasurable. It would bankrupt the company, I'm sure. CEO, props given were due, credit given were due. He did incredibly well in this match versus Shay. But Shay's a man on a mission right now. He wants Napalm Bomb. Anybody in his way is a victim until he gets his hands on that man. Covey Pro tonight was an unacceptable tragedy and injustice to every single true fan of professional wrestling. Crazy Shay, you are crazy to step in the ring of a man like me. You got lucky. It's that simple. I could have beat you any time I chose to. I wanted to make an example out of you, an example for all time. The next time we meet, I will not be so generous. Don't think it, see, e, know it. It's time for a commercial break, but don't go too far, because when we come back, Santa Claus is coming. Lewis G. Rich here. As a former Covey Pro Tag Team Champion, there's nothing I won't do to get my tag title back, which sometimes means things that are outside of the law. But I never worry because I know I can always call Eric S. Black, attorney at law. That's Eric S. Black, attorney at law. 304-258-2931. So remember, when you see the blue, call the black. Hello Covey Pro Nation, this is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler, a referee, a ring announcer? If you want to get in on the action, come on down. Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240-421-1938. Join us at our Covey Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. And now what everybody's been waiting for, Santa Claus is here. Down Santa Claus, down Santa Claus, down Santa Claus Lane. Fixing and mixing his reindeers pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. Santa Claus! Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. Hear those sleigh bells jingle jangle, oh what a beautiful sight. So jump in bed and cover your head, for Santa Claus comes tonight.
this evening. Due to some personal issues, he found out that Mrs. Claus had a little bit too much brown sugar in her cookies. And you know what I'm talking about, baby. So I said, Brown Sugar, what should we do with the show tonight? So I figured we started off with the first installment of the Sugar Shack, the show, where there's no holding back, baby. And I am your host with the most, the man with the name so nice that you gotta say it twice. Brown Sugar. That's right, baby, Brown Sugar Jones. <laughs> What they want for Christmas. So, what about you, man? What would you like for Christmas? A new husband. A new husband. Sadly, I don't think that Santa Claus is going to bring that to you this year. Who else? Who else? Who should I ask next? How about you, son? What do you want for Christmas? What's that? Two more inches. New car. <laughs> hey, man, you talking about how you got things downstairs. Either way, you're still coming up short. Oh, <laughs> no. I need one more. I need, I need someone who's been good this year. Someone who's been good. How about you, young man? What do you want for Christmas? It doesn't matter what you want for Christmas. It doesn't matter what any of you want for Christmas. It doesn't matter what I want for Christmas. It's simply what I want for Christmas. Is I want one more shot, just one more shot, at that old fart, Big John Green. And I'm going to put that old jerk in his place. And I'm going to show him exactly what Brown Sugar Jones is all about. I'm not carrying this sack here for no reason, so ladies, if you would please, hold my sack oh so tight. I got a few gifts in here. I got a few gifts in here for that old man, Big John Green. Let me tell you what's in there, Big John Green. The first one, I want you all to see this. It's a little chapstick. A little chapstick. Just, because just you know how Santa hears everything, so does brown sugar. And I've heard Cody Covey himself say that he's tired of Big John Green kissing his ass with those old, dry, crusty lips. So it's about time that you moisturize. And now my second gift. It's a nice dog leash and collar, John. <laughs> so you can find your new girlfriend and make sure she don't run away from you this time. And last but not least, <laughs> oh, she could have fit in this bag, baby. I got you. All this fits paid dinner for two on the gravy train. Okay, look. Hey, Jose. That's right, so ho, ho, ho. And Merry Christmas.
Sugar Jones got his wish, but Big John Green was too much for him to handle. Nation, it's time for a commercial break, but our main event is next. Fantastic. Go ahead and let's make that up. Fox's Pizza, 304-258-8000. They do deliver, 304-258-8000. Oh my, oh my goodness, let's open that up. Stay here and open that up with me. Oh, that's definitely a pizza for Big John Green. Fox's Pizza is a proud sponsor of Covey Pro Wrestling and a major ticket outlet. again it's time for a main event where double dragon defends his tag team titles against d line
go you. And there's the bell, and here we go. The D-Line versus Double Dragon for the Kobe Pro Tag Team Championships. You know, th this one may have been hard to call before D-Line sold out and came to Chrissy's uh, rescue. Sold out? What are you talking about? They showed respect for a fallen opponent. Respect? Oh. Sticking their nose in Trevor's business? And, and for that matter, Double Dragon. You know, I, I don't know. Those elbow tops with the body stature and big boot well, that doesn't happen often. Credit given where due. Double Dragon may be one of the few teams out there that can go power for power with the D-line. Did you actually just say something nice about my friend's Double Dragon? I'll uh, give credit where due. I don't have to like Double Dragon to respect their abilities. Well, they're still the tag champs. Collar and elbow top. Reversal back to the And shoulder blocks in the midsection from Big Buddha. There's a tag into Justin. And you know, I, I would think you would give Double Dragon more respect seeing as you were one half of a great commentary team there with Justin Time. Working with Justin Time in commentary was one of the worst experiences of my life to be perfectly honest, but I have to respect what he can do in the ring. Tag back into Big Buddha. Smart tag team wrestling on Double Dragon Park. Cut the ring off. Keep the on this side of the ring. Exactly. See, he's still beating you in commentary and he's standing on the apron. Series of Coco Butts. Here's the Irish whip. Nobody home. And Buddha hit hard. Driving clothesline from the body snatcher. And Big Buddha goes down hard. I think that should have earned him a 15 yard penalty. That was definitely some unnecessary roughness. Unsportsmanlike conduct, something there. Knee left in the midsection from Buddha. And football it would have been here, not so much. And a big eye rake from Big Buddha. Shining off his shoe and giving it a special place on the side of Body Snatcher's face. Tag back into Justin. Little joke from Justin Hyde. And a deafening chant for D-Line. Well, that's what they did it for, I guess, selling out, going to the aid of Chrissy. These fans are firmly behind D-Line, and the Body Snatcher's found back with big right hands to the head. Here's the other trip. You know, uh, I gotta hand it to him, the D-line crowd is definitely louder than the Redskins crowd. There's a tag to Black Ice. And nobody's left yet, unlike a Redskins game. Black Ice putting the boots to Justin in that corner. They may not like it. Beautiful suplex. They may not like Big Buddha, but they hate Justin Time. There's a couple hooks of leg. Then a boot to the head from Buddha to make the save. Well, same strong style, aggressive attack from D-Line. That hasn't changed. Quick tag out from Justin. Dragon Bobber back into his corner. Smart tag team wrestling. That's why they're the tag team champs. We've already established that. And there's Buddha with that big cocoa butt. And once again, the D-line chant. Who needs the turn buckle? There's a tag back to the body snatcher. Double Irish whip. Double diving shoulder block. And Buddha, some great instincts. He just came up short, reaching for that tag. Big elbow drop from the body snatcher. Goes in. Saved by Justin at the last second. 
Well, I think Buddha would have got out of it, but uh, that help from Justin did come at the right time. That's one, another reason why they're the tag champs. Buddha took that corner hard. Uh oh. Crash in the corner. And Buddha goes down hard. Body and again with the save, just in time. Bill Jacobs really lighting in the just in time, deservedly so. Why deservedly so? The D-line bringing down double axe handles on Buddha to beat him down. And you know, Bill's not trying to stop them from a double teaming. They have five seconds, Donnie. Oh, but Justin didn't have five seconds when he went in there, according to you. Because he hadn't tagged in. Oh, yeah, hypocrite. Hired right, quick from Black Ice. Big clothesline, and Buddha goes down hard again. <laughs> the D-line style of attack. The plan is simple, but to the point. Uppercut to the snap it's from Big Buddha. Buddha was confused. He went for the. I think he thought of. Uh, well, that guy was the center. He was going for the snap. There was some kind of miscommunication. It can all be explained. Dropping cocoa butt from Buddha. I was going to mention. Well, Come up the leg. And a and save look. from the body set. There you go. You just got on to Justin for doing that. There was one. There was a tag, Bill. Come on. There was no tag. There was a tag. Why was Justin in there? There was a tag. Everybody uh, saw it, but Bill. STO drop. But Black Ops is in no position to take advantage of it. Well, Buddha's not far away from Justin, though. And Hi, I'm Cubby Pro Superstar and the voice of reason, Dashing Donnie Diablo. When I tell you you should make the trip down to 979 North Frederick Avenue in Gaithersburg to King Volkswagen Kia, you know I'm telling you the truth. At King VW, you'll be treated right. From our state-of-the-art service department to our knowledgeable sales staff. King Volkswagen's commitment to service makes car buying fun again. And you won't have to wrestle us for the best prices and service all around. Hello Covey Pro Nation, this is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler, a referee, a ring announcer? If you want to get in on the action, come on down. Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240-421-1938. Join us at our Covey Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Use the force or something, Booty. You, you gotta make that tag. Just crawl towards the sound of my voice. Come on, Buddha. Just a little more. You gotta get over there. Cut him off. Come on. Come on. Come on, Buddha. You got it. Just reach a little more. He's right there. There we go. Oh, man. Justin Time. No, it's... I think the family will get what they wanted and tear his head off and kick a field goal with it. Oh, look, another double team. Who would have seen this coming? Not Bill Jacobs. There's concussion number eight or 80. I don't know who's keeping count. Mark it on the wall somewhere. Jacob goes down hard. Well, we talked about it earlier. I mean, he's pretty much been not stupid during his career. I mean, he's... The reason he's not competing now is... Blindside with the belt from Big Buddha. What belt? Buddha doesn't have a belt. Buddha, there's nothing in his hands. He's holding them out. You can see it. There's a new ref. Three. There you go. 
A successful title defense from my friends Big Buddha and just in time as they retain the tag titles again against well, uh, what was obviously a hungry D-line team. And you know, I made the reference earlier with the Washington Redskins and evidently the D-line's taken uh, the Washington Redskins winning record as they lose one to Double Dragon. Are you seriously can't counting that as a victory? A dirty belt shot to the head after a, forgive the term, a snap it shot. You really consider that a clean victory from Double Dragon? Come on, Don. It's clean. Look who's holding the tag titles. It's still Double Dragon. And there's one for good measure. These guys, they're, they're a good team. I'll give Double Dragon credit. But can't they win a match without cheating? Always leave behind. Well, that's it for me, Kobe Pro Nation. I hope you enjoy the show. Tune in next week because we'll be there in Washington, D.C. Happy holidays, everyone! <laughs>